Hello, I'm Dr. David Richardson. I'm a cataract and glaucoma surgeon in Southern California. During my morning commute, I like to discuss those things that there's simply not time enough to discuss in the exam room. So today I'd like to cover a class of glaucoma medications called the nitric oxide donating class. So let's go. So nitric oxide has been shown to have a couple of potentially beneficial effects in the treatment of glaucoma. One is that unlike other classes of medications, nitric oxide actually works at the point of resistance of flow in glaucoma. So at the trabecular meshwork and the Schlem's canal. So there's evidence in uh, the laboratory that it actually relaxes the trabecular meshwork allowing a greater amount of fluid to flow out of the eye. Now, the other potential benefit of the nitric oxide molecule is that it appears to have a beneficial effect on blood flow. And with mounting evidence that blood flow is a critical part of glaucoma, uh, this is very exciting. And at least in comparison to Timolol, beta blocker class of glaucoma medications, Latanoprostine bunod, which is the available nitric oxide donating prescription here in the US, showed benefit in blood flow, uh, again, compared to Timolol. So let's talk about Latanoprostine bunod, which is the FDA approved medication uh, that goes by the brand name of Visulta. Now, Latanoprostine bunod, as you can tell from the name, uh, is very similar to Latanoprost, which is the first generic prostaglandin analog that was approved for use in the United States. So Latanoprostine bunod is essentially Latanoprost plus nitric oxide. So the molecule itself actually does what's called donating a nitric oxide molecule in addition to having the effect of a prostaglandin analog. So I generally prescribe this medication to my patients as a prostaglandin analog plus. Uh, it's also this class, uh, or at least the tanoprostine bunod, is uh, also described as a modified prostaglandin or a, a prostaglandin that donates a nitric oxide molecule. So how well does it work? Uh, we're excited about anything that works at the trabecular meshwork because, of course, that's where the problem is in glaucoma. Well, we don't have any just nitric oxide donating FDA approved medications yet. Uh, so all we can really do is compare the Latanoprost plus, Latanoprostine bunod, to Latanoprost and see how the two compare. And I have to say it's it's not that impressive the difference uh, essentially there's a one to two millimeter mercury improvement in intraocular pressure reduction using latanoprostine bunod compared to latanoprost alone so as a single agent it's more effective than the prostaglandin analog class on its own but it's not a whole lot more effective than the prostaglandin analog. So how then does this play into when we might use this medication? Well, as a newly FDA approved medication, it's only available as a brand name, which means of course that it's incredibly expensive if it's not covered by insurance or you don't have some kind of uh, discount program. Most insurances are not covering it yet. Uh, pretty much every time I prescribed it, uh, it's been rejected and a fair amount of paperwork is necessary in order to uh, get it approved. Uh, but I do think that there's a role for it in those who have good insurance or are able to use the discount programs and who have pressure lowering from a prostaglandin analog that is almost where it needs to be. So if the target has not quite been met with a prostaglandin analog alone or a prostaglandin analog plus something else, and we just need an extra couple of points, a couple of millimeters of mercury, as we say, uh, additional IOP lowering, then I think this is a, a good class because you can simply swap out the prostaglandin analog for latanoprostine bunod 
and expect to get that extra millimeter or so of mercury. Uh, other than that though, I'm afraid that uh, there's probably not going to be a lot of use for this current uh, iteration that's available uh, of this class of medications. As far as side effects go, it's pretty much the same as with the prostaglandin analogs, and I discuss uh, those side effects uh, in another video about the cosmetic side effects of the prostaglandin analogs, and uh, I talk about the systemic side effects in a video about the prostaglandin analogs themselves. But primarily, it's a, it's a red eye. So you get a red eye with it. Uh, it's a pretty common. About 50% of people who take this medication uh, do end up with what we call conjunctival hyperemia, which is a red eye. And one of the reasons why we recommend taking it at night so that by the morning it's, it's less bothersome. That's, uh, that's pretty much it. So in summary, uh, it's a, an exciting class because it works at the point of the problem in glaucoma, the trabecular meshwork, uh, but the current iteration that's available and FDA approved is rather unimpressive. It's expensive unless you have good insurance coverage or uh, eligible for one of the discount coupons. Its benefit is modest. So all in all, the first iteration is pretty ho-hum, uh, but I am excited about what's coming down the, uh, the pike here. There's a lot of research being done on other nitric oxide donators, and some of those look to be pretty promising. It may also find its use in, uh, in some other fixed combination agents. Uh, so possibly with a rock net inhibitor, for example. So anyway, uh, this is a class that we should watch, but currently probably not going to be uh, in use until uh, the price comes down significantly or coverage is, is broader. All right, so I hope uh, you found this useful, and uh, the next video will probably be about rock net inhibitor class, which I just uh, just alluded to. All right, take care.